Bohemicus offers you an extended clipboard functionality. That means you can define up to 10 strings that are stored in memory and you can paste them into your text anytime you need. Much like classic Windows clipboard, but with 10 memory banks. Let me show you an example. I have already predefined 10 strings into my Bohemicus clipboard banks. You can see them every time you press the Ctrl key, right here. So as you can see, we have 10 memory banks with some text defined in them. Now, here is my WordPad application. I can now easily paste any of these 10 predefined strings into this text editor, like this. So, for instance, I press Ctrl plus 1 and paste a string from the memory bank number 1, like this. Then I press Ctrl plus 2 to paste uh, the string from a memory bank 2, like this. Then I press Ctrl plus 3 to paste text from memory bank 3. And so on and so on. I could paste all of them if I wanted to. I think you get the idea. This is especially useful when you are working on a text with lots of repeated strings. Bohemicus will make your life easier because you can simply paste all of these strings into your text instead of writing them every time all over again and again and again. And of course, you can use this feature in any software program. For instance, we can switch to MemoQ and paste it here as well. So let's switch to MemoQ. And we can paste any of these strings right here as well. For instance, uh, let's paste the string from Ctrl plus 9, so that means the word Steam, like this. Or we can paste uh, the string from a memory bank uh, 10, so that means uh, Ctrl plus 0 like this or let's say from a memory bank 6 so control plus 6 i think uh, you get the idea we could actually use this feature in any program it could be across it could be transit trados or just plain microsoft word or excel now the obvious question is how to store a string into a memory bank that is very simple. You just select the text you would like to store into your memory bank and then you just press Ctrl plus Alt plus Shift plus the number of the memory bank you would like to store your text into. So let's say if you want to store this selected text into memory bank number one, then you just press Ctrl plus Alt plus Shift plus one and when you now press the control key you can see that our text is stored in the memory bank number one now the second uh, phrase the second sentence right here let's say we would like to store it in memory bank number two so we just select it and we press control plus alt plus shift plus two and again, if you press uh, the control key, you can check it that our sentence is now stored in memory bank number two, which is right here. And that's it. This is a very useful feature that can uh, save you lots of work.